you need these things. You can't go to college without these things. I'm not kidding. I'm serious. You need these things. I'm going to give you 20 things that you absolutely must have when you go to college. And then I'm going to give you 13 things that you definitely want from my experience. Number one, you want a mattress topper. These beds are bricks. They are horrible. You need a mattress topper. You can't sleep on these beds without a mattress topper. If I had one thing I could take going to college and one thing only, it would be the mattress topper. Two, a desk hutch. You know, the things go on the desk, make more storage. I have probably five times as much storage on my desk because of my desk hutch. I will always use that thing. Number three, a stepping stool. You can't get in to the bed without a stepping stool. It's impossible. They are so high. You absolutely need a stepping stool to get in to your bed or an ottoman, something, but something to help you get into your bed so you don't break your neck getting in and out. Number four, a rolling basket, like a rolling laundry basket. Okay, you really wanna carry your basket down six flights of stairs to do laundry? No, you want a rolling basket that you can roll. You want it, believe me, you'll love it. You'll thank me. Number five, a microwave. I use my microwave every single day. I make soup, I make ramen, I heat up my lunch, I heat up my dinner. I use my microwave every single day and you will use theirs too. Number six, a Brita water filter. Okay, it can't just be me. It can't just be this school. The water tastes funky, like real funky, like come taste it, debate me. It tastes weird. You need a Brita water filter. Um, made the mistake once, the filter wasn't incorrectly, and I poured myself water and I literally was disgusted and spat out the taste of the water. Then realized the filter was in wrong and had to re-pour all of the water back in. Number seven, a fan. Everyone says college dorm rooms are freezing cold, but um, mine's pretty darn hot. Like it's a thousand degrees and I would not be able to sleep at night if I didn't have my fan. Um, I'm someone who can't sleep unless I'm like somewhat cold. And um, even with the fan, I'm pretty hot. So you need a fan. Number eight, a power strip and extension cord. You guys know what these things are. Um, there are hardly any outlets in my dorm room and where the outlets are, they're in the weirdest places and I don't know what I would do without my power strip and extension cords. I literally have like five of each. Number nine, you need a lamp. Um, I have a lamp that I can like bend um, to fit where I need it and it's great. You know, studying at 12 a.m., uh, I don't really have to worry about having a light on and waking up my roommate. Or in my 8 a.m. Zoom class, I can, you know, turn my lamp on without turning on my light and waking up a roommate. Number 10, a long phone charger. Okay, first semester, I had a short phone charger, you know, like the one that automatically comes with your iPhone. Okay, it was horrible. I literally had to like lean off my bed to use my phone if it was plugged in. Um, my mom gave me a 10 foot one though for Christmas and it's amazing, life changer, you need it. Number 11, a shower caddy that you either like hold and like bring in that's portable if you share a bathroom um, with other people or you know like one that stands up that's like a rack. Either one works but you need one because I don't know where else you're gonna put your stuff. Like you know put it on the floor of the bathroom. If there's four people sharing that bathroom, uh, you're not gonna stand in there, trust me. Number 12, a toaster. I use my toaster close to every day. I make av avocado toast and I mean, I heat up my waffles in my toaster and toasters are really inexpensive. You can find them for 10, $15, but you absolutely need a toaster. Number 13, a sleep mask. This was really big for me last semester with my roommate. Um, you know, to sleep, if the light was on, I used a sleep mask. Um, to nap, I used a sleep mask. And even now sometimes, like if light's coming through the curtains, I use my sleep mask to make it dark because I can't sleep unless it's pitch black. Number 14, a shoe rack. Okay, so I'm pretty frugal about money um, and I refused to buy a shoe rack last semester and my shoes were just all over my closet. It was a mess, um, it, I hated it. So this semester I broke down, bought a $10 shoe rack, guys. $10 for the shoe rack and it's amazing. Cleared up so much space, looks so good and I look so much more organized because of it. So you need a shoe rack. Number 15, a kettle. I make tea like at night with my kettle close to every single night. I make ramen with my kettle. Um, I do a lot of stuff with my kettle and you need a kettle. Like, you know, you need a microwave and you need a kettle. You need them. Um, pretty cheap, pretty sure I got my kettle for like less than $10. Um, number 16, a vacuum. Girls, you do not realize how much hair comes out of your head until you live in a tiny shoebox of a dorm. You need a vacuum. You don't know how much hair I vacuum up and like a broom just won't cut it. 
Um, the vacuum's been great. I love the vacuum. You need a vacuum. Number 17, a good water bottle. Okay. I seriously went through like three water bottles last semester and you're like, why? What's so big about a water bottle? Um, when you're not like in the comfort of your home and just filling up a glass, a it's kind of a pain to refill a water bottle and it's a pain to keep water like water cold and it's a pain to get a water bottle that doesn't make your water taste funky as heck like seriously i had two water bottles that i would clean i put fresh water in and they would immediately taste disgusting so it was horrible finally broke down i bought a hydro flask i love it um it keeps my water super cold it totally tastes normal um the only thing is that it's smaller than i'd like but i could have gotten a bigger one but like i said for gold money and and, uh, this size was on sale. Number 18, a bathroom storage rack. Not the shower one. This one's like for your toothbrush, your toothpaste, your contact, your contact solution, your flat iron, your hairspray, your blow jar, all those things. You need one. I don't know where else you're gonna put one. Put that stuff. You don't have one. Like, it's just gonna sprawl it out on the floor. Like, you need one. You definitely need one. Number 19, you need a planner. Girls, get a nice planner. Get a cute planner. A planner you can decorate. I don't miss homework assignments. I don't miss Zoom meetings. I don't miss deadlines because I have my planner that I write everything in. This is an absolute must have, guys. Um, Girls, like I said, get a cute one, make it fun, enjoy it, doodle in it, put stickers in it, and you'll love it. You need a planner though, like you, you need it. Get your life organized, guys. Number 20, a mini fridge. Okay, so I'm pretty sure most like college dorms come with a mini fridge, um, like mine does. But if you don't, like if your dorm doesn't come with one, you definitely must buy one. Um, mine is filled. It's always filled. It has creamer. It has dressing. It has like Gatorades. It has a bunch of stuff in it and you definitely need one. I don't really know how you're going to keep any sort of perishable item if you don't have a mini fridge. Okay, that is it for the 20 must-haves. But we're going to talk about the things that I have and I like. Not must-haves, but they're pretty high up there. Hey Keurig, okay, I'm a coffee addict. I'll admit it, I have coffee every single day. I need my Keurig, I make coffee in it every single day. I make it in less than like three minutes, I'm pretty sure, thanks to my Keurig. I have an ice machine. Um, like the water's room temperature with my Brita it doesn't really fit in the fridge. You could get a smaller Brita that fit in the fridge, but I got an ice maker makes ice in like less than 10 minutes and it's fantastic. I have an Amazon Echo Dot. I use it as an alarm, I use it as reminders, I use it as a timer, I ask it questions. It's fantastic, I love my Echo Dot. Fairy lights. Um, I love my fairy lights. They're super relaxing, you know, I can, when I'm going to bed, I can turn off the room lights, but plug in my fairy lights and they're great. A closet hanging organizer. It clears up so much room. It's easy to see, like it's easy to organize. And it's just another thing that I really love. A Swiffer mop. So I have the vacuum. Um, I don't need a broom because I have the vacuum, but I have a lot of tile floor and the Swiffer, you know, cleans up any messes that I need cleaned up there. And I absolutely love the Swiffer mop. A Bible, guys. And I love my Bible here. Curtains. Okay, so the blinds hardly do anything. The light's always peering in. I open my eye, try to fall asleep, and there's like a blinding light. I love the curtains. The curtains are great. They're like room darkening, light darkening, um, blockout curtains. A blender. I make a smoothie close to every single day using my blender. I work out and make protein smoothies, and I absolutely love the blender, and I think everyone should have a blender. They're not too expensive. I'm pretty sure you can get the one I have for like less than $30. $30. A waffle maker. Okay, this one's kind of stupid. You don't need this one, but I make waffles all the time. I love my waffles and I have like a nostalgia little mini waffle maker. And an oil diffuser. Again, I love this. It's great for if you're sick. It's great for if you have a headache. It's great for if you want to make your room smell good and you can find a diffuser for pretty cheap and the oils aren't usually too expensive either. A TV. Okay, don't laugh at me. You don't need this. I just absolutely love it. No, you don't need it. I love watching my Netflix shows on my TV. I love watching YouTube on my TV and I got my TV for literally like a hundred dollars at Walmart. So, you know, I love my TV. <laughs> okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning 20 things you must have and 12 things you probably want. Like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!